Welcome back to the data structure lecture series and this is the part 4 of our lecture series and in this part 4 we have to sort an array. So we are going to sort an array. So before sorting an array I will I want to I want to mention that in previous tutorial we have made an array and we have displayed that array. This was an array which we were receiving from the user. Each element each and every element we were receiving from the user end. So that elements have been say I am considering these elements I have been received by user and I was printing these elements with the help of this for loop. I want to run this program. If I will run this program, if I will run this program, the output of this program will be like this. We have to suppose we have to enter these elements 50, 20, 80, 10 and 30. I will enter these elements one by one. I will enter 50, 50, 20, 80, 10, 30. Consider these elements and these are printed here like this 50, 20, 80, 10 and 30. Now I have to sort this array. I will make a small change in my program first of all. I will write here. I will write printf. I will write printf. This line I have added here. I, write, I will write printf array before sort. What does this line do? This line, this line will this line will be simply printed as it is. After that, array will be printed. And after the array, I will write again printf array after sort. Okay. I will write printf array after sort here. So after sort, this is before sort and this is after sort. After sort, I have to first sort the array. Then I have to print it again like this with the help of this for loop. In this for loop, I am not writing a sorted array. I am writing array like this like in like the user has entered after sort it should write 10 at the zeros place 20 at ones place 30 at third place and 50 at fourth place and 80 at uh, fifth place okay so what is the algorithm to sort an array algorithm to sort an array is i have to consider uh, two things i have to consider i and j i will make memory map of this I and J. I should be 0 and J should be J should be this I plus 1. What? Because I want to compare this this element with this element. This is the 0th element. But this is a this is 1th element. Then I will compare this 0th element with 2nd element. So I have to make increment to this one. If I will consider this as I and this as J. I is 0 but J is not 0. J is 1. J is 0 plus 1. But j is here, j is 1, i is 0, okay? j will be incremented in this case. It will become 2. j will become 2. But i is still 0. First of all, i will be compared with this. Out of these, which soever is smaller will come here. Suppose 20 is smaller, 20 will come at 50 place. 20 will come here and 50 will come here. We have to apply the uh, swiping algorithm here. So that 20 will be here and 50 will be here. But we have to move forward. Now this will be compared with this. Zeroth element is this time 20. This 20 will be compared to second element. We have made increment to j only. We have not made increment to i. Then this will be compared with this 50 and 80 will be compared. No, not 50. 20 and 80 will be compared. Out of this 20 is smaller. So we have to not swap these elements. 20 will remain as it is and 80 will remain as it is. Now we have to again increment j by 1 j will become 3 okay j will become 3 i is still 0 so 20 is at the 0th position 20 is to be compared with third position so i will be x of i will be compared with x of j x of i is 0 x of i x of 0 and x of j is x of 3 so this this 20 and this 10 is compared out of this 10 is smaller so this 20 will be replaced with 10 and this 10 will be replaced with 20 is like that now i will show you the full algorithm how to do it i will make memory map here this is i this is j this is x of i this is x of j okay what is i? i is 0. j is i plus 1. 
j is 1. What is, it, what is x of i? x of i is i is 0. So here x of i is x of 0. x of 0 is 50. 50. And what is x of j? x of j is x of 1. Because j is 1 and x of 1 is 20. Okay. Now, I have to compare x of i with x of j. I have to compare x of i with x of j. So now, x of i and x of j. Out of these, x of j is smaller. So I have to swap these. I have to swap these. So I have to write. I have to write like this. This will be replaced with 20 and this will be replaced with 50. After that, I have to increment j by 1. This j will be incremented by 1. It will become 2. I have to compare this 0th element with 2nd element. So x of 0. x of 0 is now 20. x of i is now 20. Because x of 0, because this is i is 0. And x of j is x of j is this time 2. x of 2. That means this element. It is 80. So now, is 20 smaller than 80? Yes. So no changes are to be made here. Now, we have to increment j by 1. Again, by 1, it will become 3. Okay. Now, after that, x of i is 20 again. Because x of 0 is 20, x of j is x of 3, that is 10. This time, we have to swap this again because x of j is x of j is smaller than x of i. This will become 10 and this will become 20. And again, j will be incremented by 1, it will become 4. So now, uh, we have to... Uh, we have to compare x of i. x of i is 10 because x of 0 is 10 again with x of 4 because j is 4. x of 4 is 30. x of j. Okay. This 10 and 30 is compared, uh, compared and no changes will be made because 10 is smaller than 30. Now, smallest out of 5 element has come at the initial position. Now, we have to increment x by 1. And we have to move this x, x, uh, sorry, i by 1. We have to move the ith position from this location to this location. So this i will become 1. Again, this cycle will be repeated. j will become, j is i plus 1. If i is 1, j is 2. Because i is 1 and j is 2. i plus 1 is the value of j. So this will become 2. So now x of 1, this 50 is compared with x of 2. Because x of 1 is 50. x of i is 50. And x of 2 is 80. Okay. x of 1 will be compared with x of 2. So now at this point, uh, 50 is less than 80. So no change will be made. We have to move forward and increment j by 1. It will become 3. Now we have to compare uh, this 50. Because x of 1 is again 50. With x of 3. Because this is 3. We have to compare uh, x of 3. What is x of 3? x of 3 is 20. Okay, x of 3 is 20, x of j. So, 20 is less than 50. So, we have to swap these. This 20 will come here and this 50 will go here. Okay, now j will become 4. After j becomes 4, after j will become 4, x x of uh, x of 1 x of 1 is 20 20 will be compared with x of j x of 4 x of 4 is 30 20 will be compared with 30 out of these 20 is smaller so no change will be made now again we have accessed every element again i will be incremented by 1 i will become 2 similarly we have to move forward and you you can see 10 then comes 20 it will uh, when we will traverse up to the last last point it will uh, it will sort this array now we will do it practically so that this will be made very clear to you people till then take care and don't forget to subscribe industry technologies thank you